Number 71. Iodine forms a series of fluorides which are listed here. Write Lewis structures for each of the four compounds and determine the formal charge of the iodine atom in each molecule. Okay, so we've done tons of questions with Lewis structures already. So if you guys need a little bit more help and you can't make your Lewis structure by yourself, you could always go back to questions 40 through 45 of this uh, chapter. It will really help you get down those Lewis structures. I'm just going to give the Lewis structures here because we've done tons of problems actually learning how to do them. Um, so yeah, so that's that. And now I just want to say that in order to get a formal charge, right, the first thing is that you got to draw a perfect Lewis structure. So that's why I stress all the time that Lewis structures is like the base. It's like the backbone of a lot of stuff in this chapter. And it's a lot. It's basically the backbone of organic chemistry, technically. So if we can't do Lewis structures, we can't do this. Second thing is we just need to know the formal charge formula which I provided here. It's a little bit different from the one in your textbook. I think that this one is easier to understand. Um, and it's, yeah, it's pretty easy to use. So let's get down to it. So first we got to write out the Lewis structures. And then from there, we just have to find the formal charges of the iodine. So A, we have IF. So if, <laughs> so you can pause the video if you want and try to do your own Lewis structure and see if it matches with mine. In this case, the Lewis structure is going to have an I single bound to an F and each one of them will have three lone pairs, just like that. Remember, you gotta go by the octet rule in this case, so each one should have eight electrons. Now, we just want to find out the formal charge of the iodine. So formal charge of I equals, now it's only for an atom, and in this case it's for iodine. You always start with the valence electrons, and that comes from the periodic table. So for iodine, which is all the way down here, it has seven valence electrons to start with. So we'll say seven minus, now it's the number of bonds that's bound to that certain atom. In this case, it's the iodine, but the iodine only has one bond. So that would be minus one minus the number of dots that you see are lone electrons. That's on the atom. In this case, it's the iodine. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six dots, right? Or lone electrons. So, whoa, that was an ugly six. Minus six, right? So if you do this math, it turns out to be zero, which means that this iodine would be neutral, stable, happy, all right? So this iodine with one bond and three lone pairs is neutral, and that's every single time. There will never be a time in which iodine without one bond or with one bond would not be neutral. B, we have IF3. So pause the video if you want to try to form your own Lewis structure and see if it matches mine. But in this case, we now have iodine in the middle, surrounded by three fluorines. So that means that iodine should have three bonds, and each fluorine should have the three lone pairs to make that octet. And then the iodine, since it's all the way down here, it actually has an expanded octet here because it still has seven valence electrons. So it actually has two lone pairs. And there you go. Now we have to find the formal charge of this iodine. It looks a little different from A, but let's see if we get a zero or maybe a plus one or minus one. Let's see. So formal charge for this iodine is valence always stays exactly the same. You always start with seven electrons for iodine minus the number of bonds. For this iodine, there's one, two, three bonds. So that's minus three minus the number of dots. One, two, three, four. So minus four. Seven minus three minus four is zero. So this iodine is also neutral. So you could have a lot of different uh, ways of iodine that, you know, a lot of ways that iodine looks, but they still can be neutral. Okay, so that's A and B. So I'm just going to check them off. Now we just got to do C and D. So I'm going to erase A and B if you need to. Uh, you know, copy, you could just pause the video. But I'm just going to take all this and get rid of it. Okay. So C, now we have IF5. Same thing as before though, iodine is going to be in the middle surrounded by five fluorines. So one, two, 
three, four, and five. Each flooring, if we just want to draw this properly, each flooring will have three lone pairs around it to make the octet. And then iodine will have the expanded octet. It still has the seven valence electrons. So in this case, it actually has two, uh, just one lone pair, two electrons. So now let's look at this formal charge for this iodine. The valence electrons for iodine is still going to be seven because it's in group 17 minus the number of bonds. One, two, three, four, five. So that's minus five minus how many dots? One, two. So two lone electrons. Seven minus five minus two is zero. Another neutral atom. So iodine in this case is neutral. Crazy, they're all neutral. Let's just see if D is neutral as well. I'm going to put D down here. I, F, seven. Oof. So that means that iodine, which is the in the middle, will have seven fluorines surrounded the iodine. And each fluorine, just like before, has the three lone pairs. So I'm just going to draw them out just so that we have it down properly. So I already drew the three out. Let's draw the other three. One, two, three. Let's see, that's five. So I'll put one F over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the other F down over here. Okay. And in this case, Iodine will not have any lone pairs because you've extended your seven electrons to make the bonds. So now let's look. I'm going to put it over here. Whoop. Formal charge of iodine is valence electrons will always be seven minus how many bonds? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Minus how many lone pairs? There's no lone pairs, right? There's no dots like we saw before. So that would be minus zero. Seven minus zero is, seven minus seven is zero. So this iodine still is neutral. That's crazy. So for all of these, every single iodine was neutral. And that's what you got to take, you know, take home from this question, that there could be a lot of different ways that you could draw different elements, but they will still come out to be the same charge. And that's that. So 71 is done. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. Subscribe to the channel if you would like, but if not, that's okay. <laughs> we'll still help you guys, all right? So I uh, hope you have a great day. Keep studying hard. I'll be here for you in the next question. So if you're on the playlist, I'll see you in five seconds. Bye-bye. <laughs>